My name is Angelica Jaquila. And in this video, I'm going to attempt to help those humans think, to think more easily about having needles given to them during penipuncture when injected in the muscles with a needle or vaccines for example a lot of humans don't like needles It is dangerous for humans to have needles injected into veins and muscles. They do cause wounds. They damage the blood vessels, the skin. But sometimes are useful in medicine and needed when humans go through blood work venipuncture is needed to take samples of blood when a human needs to get a vaccine injected into the muscle the needles are necessary but it is understandable every human is different and not all humans can handle even the thought of a needle not all humans can handle the thought of a needle going into a vein or into a muscle through the skin. Some people don't like the pain. Some humans, just as I stated, can't handle even the thought of it. Angelica Jekela. I'm going to try to help those who don't like needles. It always starts with thinking. If a human doesn't like needles, then they have to first be educated about what the needles are for. A human is always best to have information about what the procedure they're going to have is about. If a human is going to go for blood work to get a needle inject into the vein to have a sample of blood drawn, then a human can Think of this, what the purpose is to make it easier for them to go through getting a needle put into their vein. To think of it as a beneficial purpose. A human has to train their thinking not to be afraid of needles. It is not a pleasant thing to get a needle put in a vein or muscle, but it only takes usually a second when it's put in a momentary small amount of pain, a very tiny hole in the vein or muscle causes a tiny amount of pain. If a human thinks of this, it is a lot less problematic for a human to get blood drawn or a vaccine, for example, inject into the muscle that might save their life. Some people look away because they cannot stand 
cannot handle the sight of a needle entering a vein or muscle through the skin. But keep in mind, it is a very tiny needle. When put in the vein, if someone can handle it, it is best always to think about it first, what the purpose of it is for. That is a very small needle, almost as thin as a little pin. Going to be put in a human in the vein for the purpose to take a sample of blood or to inject a vaccine to help the human. Then, if possible, to think that you human can look in the direction of the vein where the needle is going to be put. Then the healthcare professional lets you know when they're going to put the needle in to the vein or to the muscle inject through the skin. And then you can prepare yourself by thinking about that it will expect ahead of time that is going to be a tiny amount of pain. To prepare yourself for a little bit of pain into the where the wound will be on the vein, the little tiny needle will be injected on the vein or into the skin to the muscle. Once you prepare your thought processes for this and expect this to happen, it is a lot easier for you to get a needle put into the vein or a vaccine given, for example, injected into the arm and to the muscles. If one can handle it, it is best to look in direction of where the injection is to make sure it is done properly and then to hold the hand, for example, stable while the needle is being put in. Mainly, it only causes a tiny little amount of pain when it is the needle put into the vein in the first place or injected into the skin where the muscle is. Once it is in there, it doesn't really cause that much pain. Then the human holds still until the vein has the little tiny needle removed or the needle is removed from the skin and muscle. And when thinking of it this way, there is a lot less strain on the human heart. The procedure is done. The little, tiny little needle was removed from the vein and then a little cotton to stop bleeding temporarily when needed and a band-aid is put on top. where the needle, tiny little needle, was put. If a human thinks of this procedure in this way, it is a lot easier for the human so they are not afraid of getting a needle. Especially some people get it frequently. Some people have frequent blood work need samples of blood taken with a tiny little needle, almost like a pin put in vein to take out a sample blood to test them to make sure their health is all right. To put a life-saving vaccine, inject into muscle in their arm, for example. Other people have those little monitors, take a little pin, put the sample needle there to sample their blood frequently when testing when they have diabetes for sugar levels. Other humans do frequent testing with tiny little needles. 
So keep in mind, it is, it is learnable for a human to handle having a tiny little needle put into the little vein. As I stated, it is only a tiny little amount of pain. If a human focuses on this and trains their thought and over time get, become easier, can even look at the site to know and it's better that way. One is inject in the needle and to sit still till it is removed. Then no, the needle in the vein doesn't cause any more harm when it's not moved, the human physicality where the vein is or where it is injected into the skin muscle. And until it is removed, and the human health is a lot safer that way and healthier. The human stays. And then there's only a tiny little wound that needs to be healed, still taken care of. But it's a smaller wound than if a human wasn't looking in that direction and move the hand by accident or where the muscle is when injected. There is nothing to fear when getting a needle in terms of thinking it as a tiny little pin, a really tiny little needle to expect to train your thinking that is going to cause and for you to expect a tiny little amount of pain when put in and to hold still and then it will be removed and it's over with. It doesn't take that long. It is easy for a human to learn and it takes human to simple few thought processes to think this through and a human will have a lot less strain on their heart and won't be afraid of having any needles taken put in their veins rather, and is best for their health and helps when a human is giving them the needle or they inject themselves for proper health reasons and safer that way because then they know when the needle is put in and safe not to move until the needle is withdrawn from the vein or the injected muscle site where the skin is. And a human obviously is healthier that way when not moving till it's removed. And a proper cotton and a band-aid put on top till the wound on the vein heals. So please take the time to slow down. Think things through first. Think even of the benefits of what the needle is for will help you if you're getting blood work done, drawn for the purpose to check if you have proper health. Think of it that way, that it is beneficial to your health. Will help less strain your heart, put less fear in you. When going to get a blood test, venipuncture, which is a punctured vein, put a tiny little needle. It's almost like pin in your vein to take the blood out to test to see if you're healthy. To put a life-saving vaccine inject in your arm to the muscles to put a little pin a test for different health concerns for glucose for example during when a human might have diabetes over time it does get easier but it takes some thinking every human can do this it is very easy And to think happy thoughts when it's done.
a lot less strain is on the heart than a human does in fear that there's a needle there and there's nothing really to fear. Even though banapuncture does have its own risks, what most people do need this for blood testing, for testing for glucose levels, diabetes and other health concerns, vaccines given. But most cases, most humans, the vein does heal over time, band-aid put on with cotton ball, and heal and leave the wound alone, and it will heal. So please remember that it's all in the human thinking. There's nothing to be afraid about. Think happy thoughts. Think as I stated in this video. And you will have a lot less strain on your heart. And please share this information with all humans, children, adults, old people who cannot handle any thought of any needles, venipuncture, intramuscular injections, inject into muscles. Again, they're tiny little needles. Think of it as a tiny pin. Make sure they're put in properly. Think a happy thought. It only keep in mind when it's about to be put, to expect to think, train your thinking that there's gonna be a tiny little pain. And once it's put in, it's not painful and then removed. Thank you for listening to this video. I hope it's healthy. Bringing rather health and ease to human lives. With this thinking, it helped me. I know it will help a lot of people to think this way. Angelica Jekyllis studied life sciences and found this a beneficial thought, a way of thinking to handle needles. And I hope everyone will find this beneficial and put it to good uses. And hopefully it will strain a lot less human hearts. And no one will be afraid of needles, the tiny little ones, anymore. <laughs>